before starting the video. If you can, please print out the PDF file on the description below so you can work with me. To solve this, first of all, we know that log of a pop m is equal to m log a. So therefore, log base 3 x power 5 is equal to 5 log 3 of x, which is equal to 3. Similarly, plus 2 log base 3 of x. Now what I do now is I move this term on this side. So this become 5 log 3 of x minus 2 log by 3 of x, which is equal to 3. Now we're just collecting like terms. So 5 log by 3 of x minus 2 loss of that. So which is equal to 3 log by 3x is equal to 3. So I divide by 3 on both sides. So that is log by 3 of x is equal to 1. And then to unlock it, so remember log of a y equal to x. So to unlock this, a, it just push the x up, so which is y is equal to a to the power of x. So this means that this 3 push this one up, so therefore x is equal to 3 power 1. But 3 power 1 is 3. So therefore x is equal to 3. Second one. To solve this, first of all, we need to know that log log of a minus log of b is equal to log of a over b. So therefore, this become log base 2 of x plus 2 over x plus 1 which give me 2. Then to unlock this, of course, these two push this two up. So that is x plus 2 over x plus 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 2. But don't forget 2 square is 4. So I just write 4 here first. So 4 is just like 4 over 1. So I just do cross multiply. So 1 times x plus 2. So is x plus 2. So I just write x plus 2 is equal to 4 loss of x plus 1. So now x plus 2 is equal to 4 times x is 4x. And then 4 times 1 is 4. There you go. So now I'm so for x, so I move this x on that side and the 4 on this side. So that become 4 become minus 4. And then the x move on the right hand side become negative x. So 2 minus 4 is minus 2. So which is, I just write down here first. Minus 2 is equal to 4x minus x is 3x. So what I do, I divide this by 3, I divide this by 3, cross it out. So therefore, x is equal to minus 2 over 3. Please stop the video and try this one yourself. So first of all, again, before we do anything, we need to know this log of a m is equal to m log a. So this means that the 2 I bring in the front first. So which is log 
base 3 of x plus 2 log base 3 of x, which is equal to 4. So now we're just collecting like terms. So 1 log base 3 x plus 2 log base 3 x, which is equal to 3 log base 3 x. So this is equal to 4. So before we unlock it, we need to divide this by 3 first. We get rid of this 3. So I divide by 3. So this is what that meant. I divide by 3 that cancel out. So that is log by 3x is equal to 4 over 3. Then to solve for x, we unlock this. So therefore, this 3 push this up. So which is x is equal to 3 power of 4 over 3. So I put this in a calculator. 3 power of 4 over 3. Or 1 and 1 third if you like. So this is 4.32674a and so on. So I just round off to two decimal place. So which is 4.33. So therefore, x is equal to 4.33. Last one. So again, we know that log base a, whatever base that is, so let's say log of uh, base a x minus log, have the same base, okay, base a of y. So this is one of the rule, of course, log of a x over y. So therefore, the equations now become log of x plus 1 over 2x minus 1 and that is equal to 2. Now because it's log I didn't specify any base this means by 10 okay log log default as log base 10 if you like you can put x here so that's what that meant so this is 10. So therefore, to unlock it, so which is, so this 10, just push the 2 up. So that is x plus 1 over 2x minus 1 is equal to 10 to the power of 2. So 10 square, if you like, which is 100. So I just write x plus 1 over 2x minus 1 is equal to 100. So now I just times 100, it's just like 100 over 1. So I just do cross multiply, easier. So which is 1 times x plus 1 is equal to 100 times 2x minus 1. So what I do now is I just removing the bracket. So which is x plus 1 is equal to 100 times 2, which is 200 but 200x, okay? So 100 times negative 1 is minus 100. So now I just collect like terms. So I put the um, x on this side and the negative 100 on that side. So that become 1 plus 100, so 101 is equal to x, move on the right hand side, become minus x. So 200 minus x is 199x. So I divided by 199 on both sides. So therefore, x is equal to 101 over 199. Thank you so much for watching.